HK are now part of the ETG group. And Rob, as a supplier to HK for Mark Forge products, how do you feel it fits into this industry? Yeah, it's great. It's perfect for us. Well, there's a, there's a, a huge amount of synergy with the, uh, the machine tools and the CNC industry. Uh, Mark Forged are, uh, well, we, we, we've developed technology that uh, predominantly 3D prints out of composite or, or metal. Uh, and on the composite side in particular, it's very, very complementary to the CNC world. Uh, generally, these CNC machines, they don't want to be uh, distracted by the smaller batch jobs. Um, or, and and that, that might be for actual parts, uh, 10 or 20 off parts, or it might actually be just the work holdings. So, um, so this is a good example of a set of soft jaws for a, for a CNC part. To do any sort of post-processing on this part, we have to make some soft jaws, so why not print them? Uh, absolutely fantastic, I, I love this. And any more applications that you can think of? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, applications on the, on the factory floor, if you like. Uh, this is really where we've made a name for ourselves, all sorts of t uh, jigs, tools and fixtures. Um, having, having the strength of the composite parts, uh, but also the, the non-marring properties mean that we can do, uh, uh, as well as a whole bunch of work holdings, uh, we can do things like uh, CMM fixtures, welding fixtures, um, robot, uh, robot jaws, so uh, robot end effectors, end of arm tooling, um, anything that uh, often would have been done out of machined aluminium, uh, but which is often costly and time consuming to produce. We can produce things like this for just a few pounds and overnight at the most, maybe in a few hours. Wow, incredible. And just to finish off, because we can get in touch via the ETG website, yeah. materials, go for some of the, just name some of the materials we're talking about. So we, uh, we, we print out of plastics, composites or metals. Uh, the plastics, we have a, a nylon material. The, uh, the composites, we have, a, uh, we have a, a, a carbon matrix material, which we call onyx. Uh, but then we also have a whole bunch of continuous fibers which we can lay into the part, which give it the strength of potentially of aluminium. Uh, and then if we're looking for more isotropic strength or maybe slightly different applications, we have the metal X. Um, so with the composite parts, we're often replacing a, a, a small batch high value CNC process. Um, with the metal parts, we're, we're often replacing things like die cast, uh, die cast parts, or, um, or again, we're doing tooling with this as well. That's a robot, that's a robot end effector uh, being printed there. And we can actually do both. So we do a lot of parts that are hybrids. So we might have a, we might have a part that is a mixture of composite material and metal material. So you have the, the composite for lightweight uh, and you have the metal for durability and hardness. Uh, therefore, we can do customized tooling, we can do... Um, uh, the world is your oyster, Rob. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Get in touch. Mark Forge to ETG.